<laughs> uh, come on now. No regrets. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's jump in. Let's first try Blue Moon, Belgium White. Let's just do it, man. Come on. Yeah. We've got we to gotta do it straight away. No right. point messing around. I, I think I, I've, I've brought like a colander or a sifter <laughs> just in case because mine's had a lot of sediment in it. A lot of You're protein. Take out the lumps, yeah. Because um, it was a an unfiltered, obviously, process for this particular beer. Oh, oh, it's filling the room with a smell already. Yeah, it's uh, it's very cloudy. This one is. It's pleasant on the nose. Yeah, pleasant on the nose. Aye, because like, obviously, not taste. Sorry, it smells kind of just like a standard lager at the moment. Well, the way you're sniffing it, I'm not surprised if you are tasting it. I think if you're reliving your fucking 20s and shoving <laughs> things up your nose. <laughs> Isn't the fast sweats getting to your bloodstream? So. I'm oh, no, sorry, no, that's just, your eye. Uh, yeah, just, oh, fuck, he's doing it. My, no. good, my, good, my good eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice it for no, the take, show. Take out the bad one Anything. and just pour it into the gap. <laughs> Anything for the show. Um, sure, are you ready? Yes, I have my whole garden tumbler. <laughs> Perfect. How From very apt. Pull away, buddy. I want to. I want to see the color of this. So, Barmy's like, I need to do a three-part infrastructure. I need my tumbler. <laughs> I need to sift the weird cinnamon out. <laughs> then pour the beer from high level. Oh man, you can do it. The uh, all the taste oh. is in the uh... all the shit I don't want to drink. Jeez. <laughs> It's like a science experiment. <laughs> Try and not drop any of this on my laptop. <laughs> yeah, mate, all the taste is in the sediment, honestly. That's uh, that's a what? very frothy brewski. Yes, I've uh, clearly okay. poured out the worst. Right. We'll Make go into our other there. beer that's first worry. to let that one settle. <laughs> we'll just go for a wee. Should have a little, little drink see, uh, out of the bottle. Let's do it. Oh, it's mm. light. Mm. Yeah, actually, it, the orange peel, they're not lying. Do you know what? I'm really, really surprised by that. I wasn't expecting to like that as much as uh, I do. It's very light, isn't it? The taste mm. is quite subtle. I was expecting it to be, expecting it to be a bit more rambunctious uh, yeah. in terms of the flavour, but that's not too bad at all man what is your history with uh wheat beer so in terms of wheat beer the only one i've had previously is hogan that we covered all the way back on episode two of of season one and uh with this particular one i feel like i have had it on draft before but ages ago Mm -hmm. and when i didn't really know kind of what it was or what style it was i just kind of had it because it was there but i can't remember a lot about it but this is um this is interesting yeah mm-hmm. this took me by surprise um if you, want, if you want a head update it's now 50 50 Ooh, should be 50 percent head 50 percent. i think we're going to be about 90 10 once i've told the so, uh, lovely people about this beer um first time for everything man and, and funnily enough uh depends on how funny you find liquid i suppose this is the first american beer we've done on the show ah which is but kind of crazy. It's, it's, uh, oh, okay, Belgian style. Well, I'll yeah, shut this, my pus. This is a a wit beer or Belgian White House style beer, um, standing at a furious five point four percent. This sucker was created by Keith Villa in Denver, Colorado, and first brewed in nineteen ninety five. Ingredients wise, amongst the usual suspects, we have white wheat, orange peel, coriander, and oats. So this is basically the perfect breakfast beer. <laughs> um, it's often served with an orange slice on draft. So a great okay. beverage for all those out there with uh, deep-seated scurvy concerns. Uh, these guys have a lot of weird and wonderful shit in their back catalogue and have, have brewed such unholy sights as a Harvest Pumpkin Ale in 2011, a Peanut Butter Ale in 2013. I got I got to admit that one sounds kind of interesting. Um, sounds very weird. And a cappuccino oatmeal stout in 2015. 
A beer this good only comes around once in a blue moon. Their words, not mine. We're going to have to see on that one, dude. Uh, Let's address the elephant in the room. How does Blue Moon compare to Hoe Garden? Lay it on me. Lay it on me. It just fucking jumps right over it. Mm. Definitely, wheat beers went right back up in my estimation. Don't butcher that. But yeah, this is uh, surprisingly like kind of fun, light. And there's there's no no real bitterness, and if there is, it, it's nothing. Now just through maybe our taste buds of drinking all this funky beer has made it a little bit more tolerable. But yeah, uh, no, this is definitely kind of a decent little beer. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds really weird, but I feel like it's almost like a, a bubblegum kind of back end no. to it. Like a, maybe like a fruity kind of bubblegum back end. Like it feels a bit artificial. Like I thought it was going to be maybe a bit more, I don't know. I think I think probably my taste was in room because last week doing the cherry beer that we did, the Bacchus, mm-hmm. that was such a, like a, like a, a fresh fruit taste. Uh, I had such a fresh fruit taste to it. Whereas this one feels a bit more kind of, artificial to it i don't know yeah it's, I, I, I don't it, get the i don't get the the bubblegum fruit vibe at the end of it but there's definitely this clearly refreshing taste there's like a it. sweetness and, like a subtle sweetness to yeah, it like a very subtle totally. sweetness yeah and i like I, I i keep harking on but it's got a lightness to it where I, th- this might just because it is a uh, wheat that we're dealing with here so, yeah, it doesn't taste like um, a 5.4 percent to me. Yeah, is this uh, what it is? Uh, at all? Yeah, dude. Oh man, then we're going to splash in a seven percent after it. Yeah, I'm sounds looking. like us. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot of thought put into it. Uh, well, yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm really surprised. Yeah, really surprised. Really, really enjoyable brewski. Um, it's giving me hope for more wheat. Definitely. In the definitely dude and and it's just fantastic to kind of try another belgian and uh, because again it's something that we we didn't really cover on the first season and we've been yeah. getting into a lot of it recently which is cool because it's uh it's a whole new world and i'm you know surprised because I mean? obviously I i'm just going right over that tom i'm not paying any mind to that um my initial reaction was like It'll oh do. when you look at the beer bottle and you notice a big sort of clump of white at the bottom of the bottle you get the fear it's like what the fuck has happened to this yeah. oh mine's got and, a little bit in there not a lot a little bit um have you got anything done, in your sieve and, uh, <laughs> no, there in there? no the sieve was wasted i'm gonna have to wash that for no reason now <laughs> Such like, a it's, ball, it's like. just got oh, a little bit oh, oh i've just dripped a little onto the the <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a bad time to stop in the middle of a sentence, but <laughs> uh, the, the touch pad has now got a drop of uh, Belgian about, white on it. What were we saying about sex education? I can't, so, uh, can't uh, remember that's now. That's next. But, uh, um, <laughs> so.